there was a unique unipolar moment that happens very rarely in history where the Anglosphere had much more power in the 90s and early 2000s than the rest of the world. Is there something you wish in the way the institutions were set up at the time and were carried forward now that you would maybe change or there was like a key opportunity in the unipolar moment? How should that have been used? How well was it used? I think it was myself and President Clinton who took the crucial decision to bring China into the world's trading um, framework. And, you know, the G7 at the time was the G8 with Russia there. And, you know, China would always be invited. I think we did try. I, I honestly think we tried a lot to recognize that we, we were going to live in a new world. The power was going to, to not shift from the West in the sense the West would become not powerful, but the East was going to become also powerful, right? And I think we kind of did understand that and um, worked towards that. The problem is that, and particularly in these last few years, certainly China and Russia have come to a position that is in terms of fundamental values and systems seemingly hostile to, to Western democracy. We live in a multipolar world today. And personally, I think that's a, a good thing. And I think it's, in any, any event, it's an inevitable thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really important always to give this message to, uh, to China, for example, that China, as of right, is one of the big powers in the world. And as of right, should have a huge influence. And I don't believe in trying to constrain or contain China. But we do have to accept that the Chinese system, as it presently is, is run on different lines to our own and, you know, is overtly in some degree hostile, which is why it's important for us to retain military and technological superiority, even though I am believe passionately that it's important that we leave space for cooperation and engagement with China. Um, now, how much could we have foreseen of all of this back in, in those days? I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think the world, you know, sometimes one of the problems of the West is that we always think, we always see it through our own lens, mm. and we always think, well, we could have done something different to change the world. <laughs> but actually, the rest of the world operates on its own principles as well. So um, sometimes the change happens not because we didn't do something, but because the rest of the world did.